This video is sponsored by RenderHub. Stick around to see how you can join the Winter Fantasy version 3 render contest, which starts on 15th of November 2024. So, if you're a 3D artist that is currently looking for something that you can use in making quick sketches and converting those sketches into 3D, then this beautiful tool from the folks at Sketchsoft is definitely one that would appeal to you. As the folks at Sketchsoft have recently unveiled and launched a brand new version of Feather 3D, which is an amazing 2D and 3D drawing tool for iPad. And this is considered to be the next generation of 2D and 3D drawing tool built for professionals. And prior to Feather 3D, Feather was just a simple 2D sketching tool and it did come with some impressive set of things and this allowed artists to create 2D images that contains depth. The fact that you could literally draw in space and also travel in space and view your 2D design and your 2D drawing in space actually made Feather to stand out. There were also some tools like the Metaspace which was a 3D sketchbook and SketchUp which you can literally get for free. However, the way Feather works is just super brilliant and these actually allowed artists to work free in 3D without any form of restriction as depth was infinite and there was a lot of tools and freedom for you to explore and bring your designs to life. And this commercially released version now allows artists to make 2D and 3D sketching on their iPad. And this brand new release now comes with a good number of sophisticated features, which now turns this into a comprehensive 3D sketching tool tailored for artists. With some of the tools including the 3D Liquify tool, which enables users to deform and shape strokes directly within 3D space, providing a greater flexibility in modifying sketches, making it possible to push, pull and reshape parts of a design in an intuitive way which is beneficial for character and organic shape designers. And for geometric primitives, while Feather as a tool has always supported freehand guides, this update introduces geometric shapes such as cubes, pyramids, spheres and toruses and these can serve as structural guides as it serves as a reference framework for building complex designs. And yes, Feather 3D has been available for some time, but one of the major updates with this is the inclusion of a direct support for Blender. So at this point, through a free plugin, users can now export their models from Feather in GLTF or OBJ format and continue working with them within Blender. And this just simply makes Feather a more versatile part of a broader 3D design ecosystem. So at this point, in your leisure hours, you can sketch out an idea of a 3D model or a 3D piece that you're trying to make and finalize this when you get on the desktop. Alongside with this, you can also choose to export the OBJ format or GLTF and use them in other 3D platforms. But having a free add-on which you can use directly with Blender simply makes this really cool. And there is this beautiful offline functionality. So when you get to work with this tool, you no longer rely on staying online to get things going as the app now functions entirely offline, which of course enhances both speed and accessibility. And of course with this, it now allows users to continue working with this tool without internet connection and ensuring that artists are more comfortable, especially in this era of data privacy, as all of your sketches and files will be stored locally on your device. Alongside this, the advanced lighting system is looking pretty cool as it now allows users to control the direction, intensity and color of light sources within their sketches. This added functionality would help create more depth and realism, which in turn will enable artists to visualize the design with a more realistic shading and illumination directly on the app instead of exporting this to other 3D apps to finalize that. And with the advanced lighting system comes the post-processing effect. So to imagine that all of this is happening directly on the iPad is just insane because at this point, you you can literally start adding some effects on your model to get that enhancement that you want. So maybe you want to add some glow effect, some grains, or possibly you just want to add some depth of field. You can simply do all of these and get the best result for the sketch you're making as this contributes to both the polishing, the visual appeal, and the overall look of your piece. Some other interesting feature includes the guide management system and for those who work with pressure sensitive pen, this allows artists to adjust both the line width, opacity and also the stroke characteristic dynamically when using this, as this offers a more natural pen and paper feel experience when sketching with Feather 3D. So this is it, lots of cool things are now available with this pretty cool tool and for those who like to get this, this is a one time purchase so you don't need to do the whole subscription and this is a highly rated product which I think the folks at Sketchsoft have done an amazing job at creating. Another interesting creators are the folks at RenderHub, the sponsors of this video, as RenderHub version 2.3 is now available and this now comes with a ton of interesting stuff for artists. This is a beautiful website where you can literally find anything that has to do with 3D and you can proceed to promote and upload your own 3D content on RenderHub. 
More so, RenderHub continually organizes contests which helps artists create more. And right now, the Winter Fantasy version 3 render contest is well on its way, as this begins on November the 15th all the way to December the 31st of 2024, with amazing prizes to be won and winners to be announced on the 14th of January 2025. Alongside the first, second, and third place winners, there's also going to be eight honorable mentions. And for those who like to join this, there's certain terms and conditions that applies. And of course, if you're looking for a place where you can join a contest, or maybe you're just looking for a marketplace where you can download trading related resources and see some very inspiring artworks or publish yours then RenderHub is the place for you and of course links to all of this is going to be in the description so do well to check it out so if you do own an ipad and you're looking for something that you can use to start making your sketches whether you want to make 2d sketches 3d sketches something that understands depth and possibly you're looking for something that once you're done making these sketches how you choose and how you feel you will be able to export that and continue working with them on your desktop app then you should definitely consider taking a look at feather as this is one beautiful tool that i cannot over recommend Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video or you like something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And until I see you guys in the next one, peace.